Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. First of all, we would like to thank you all for the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, let's begin. Have you found yourself sleeping in a lot lately? Do you often feel tired even when you haven't done much? Despite depression being one of the most common mental illnesses, it can still be quite difficult to identify. In fact, there are some symptoms of depression that may go over your head because the behavioral changes within yourself are so subtle and hard to notice. So here are eight things you unconsciously do when depressed. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have depression or any mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Okay, let's begin. Number one, you constantly want to socialize. Do you feel an urge to socialize with others, especially in a way that might be out of character for you? According to Stephen Berglis, some people with depression might find themselves spending all their time with others. While moderate social interaction is healthy and necessary, some may take it to an excessive point and use it to mask or compensate for heavier emotions they're unable to confront. Number two, you isolate yourself. Do you always cancel plans with others or purposefully throw yourself into work? While some people who suffer from depression find themselves overloading their social lives, others may do the exact opposite. Social isolation is an extremely common symptom of depression and it can be very harmful to your mental health. When you cut yourself from other people, you may be depriving yourself of some much needed support. This may only serve to worsen your depression. Number three, you express inappropriate emotions. Do you find yourself reacting inappropriately during social situations? There is a subset of depression called alexithymia that makes you feel like your emotions are unbalanced with the world around you. This may manifest in a few different ways, such as finding that your emotions are more muted when they should be heavier, or on the flip side, you might be more prone to sudden outbursts of intense laughter or sadness during situations where you typically would not react as much. Number four, you react intensely. Do you blow things out of proportion? Have you found yourself angrier than usual at the smallest annoyances? Those with depression often suffer from a great deal of internal emotional pain and may cope with it by taking their frustration out at the smaller things that may annoy them. They may be unaware of their overreaction and may feel that they can no longer control their emotions. Number five, your sleeping schedule keeps changing. Have you been sleeping too much or too little recently? Depression can take a huge toll on your sleeping schedule, whether it's sleeping too much or developing insomnia. Experts agree that depression worsens your sleep quality. Sometimes you may not even be aware of how much your sleeping schedule is fluctuating. So it may be a cause for concern if you constantly find yourself awake in the middle of the night or oversleeping till late in the afternoon. Number six, you get tired easily. Do you find it more and more difficult to concentrate and to get things done? Depression can lead to high levels of fatigue. While this low energy may be a sign, an article from Everyday Health warns against jumping to conclusions, since feeling tired every once in a while is quite normal. However, if this feeling of fogginess continues to persist for a long time, you may want to tune in to your other symptoms to see if it may be linked to depression. Number seven, your appetite has changed. Have you recently been eating much more or less than usual? Do you often reach for sweet or salty snacks? Depression can bring about significant changes to your appetite. To compensate for an increased amount of stress, some may find themselves eating more junk food while others may lose their appetite. Either way, it's important to monitor this habit as it may lead to other health-related issues. And number eight, you're indecisive. Do you struggle to speak up or make decisions? Has this come about somewhat recently or suddenly? According to an article from The Guardian, some people with depression may start to doubt their ability to make decisions. If you're normally a decisive person, but have recently struggled to come to conclusions with what you want or how you feel, it may actually be a sign of depression. Do you relate to any of the signs mentioned here? Tell us about it in the comments below. If this video helped you, please like it and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more videos.
All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Hello, beautiful beings. I am so glad that you guys are here watching this, and I hope this was really helpful. Now, it's one thing to feel like you're starting to see the signs and you're starting to notice these signs of depression or anxiety or stress, but it's a whole nother thing to start to actually shift into a different mindset. And we've been hearing a lot um, from you guys saying that you want some more practical tools to be able to shift into a different energetic state, different emotional state, that so that you can really start to powerfully live the life that you really deserve. So if that's the case, feel free to watch the next video, which offers a very practical exercise that you can try on right now for the next few minutes, which will drastically start to change your energetic state. It's been cathartic for a lot of my viewers and my clients, and I would love to share this with you guys as well. And also feel free to subscribe to my channel once you're there. My name is Yuri Choi. I cannot wait to see you guys over there. Love you guys so much.